My first experience, uh, I got to go to the Headliner concerts and I saw Claudio Rodidi play uh, and I just thought it was amazing. I'd never heard jazz like that before. The interaction and the learning you get from the featured artists that come in, you can't get that in a regular classroom or a practice room or anything. You know, you just can't learn about Terrell Stafford's wisdom until you meet the guy. You know, all these different featured artists that I've met with these jazz festivals, they all have something else to to provide or to, to show you and you know the big thing that I got from all of them is just you need to be a person before you're a musician and the character of uh, the character is what makes you who you are and if you and you need to work on your character before anything else and that was huge when I learned that. Jazz Fest for me was really cool being able to listen to a lot of different groups and schools and just like see other friends that I knew that were up there performing. I don't know, it's just like just like the diverse amount of music that you can listen to here is like really amazing. Mainly the the guest artists, uh, especially this year Jimmy Heath, kind of the living legends. Uh, I think that would be what would keep me coming back. When you're in Northwest Wisconsin and you, you see a jazz festival like this with uh, musicians the caliber that we get, I think it's, it's hard to not come back because there are just so many cool things happening all the time, all weekend long, that you won't want to miss. I know I find myself running around constantly. I could decide which group I wanted to go see because I wanted to see so many groups. It's just nonstop fun all weekend long. I love the diversity of all the groups, especially because you didn't have just one particular form of music happening there. Overall, you had you know funk bands with jazz and fusion, or just classic, just beautiful, just calming jazz playing for you while you were in a nice restaurant. So I love the overall diversity of all the groups that they had last year. So I can go down there with anyone, any of my friends and uh, really have a great time and just enjoy the atmosphere that's created on 52nd Street. Not only is it great music and great jazz that I love, it's things that uh, I think a lot of other people can enjoy that aren't necessarily jazz enthusiasts. I've been to a lot of other jazz fests and I've never seen like a scene that we make like 52nd Street down in Barstow. <laughs>